It is a real shame the way that this country was founded. It is. It was genocide. It was shoving people off land. We had the Trail of Tears. We had slavery. And yes, people can talk about how there are different sides to the slavery thing, but in the majority, you know, let's be real here. We had a lot of unfortunate things about the way this country was founded. And people seem to have this idea that Christopher Columbus and a small group of people in Europe are the ones that discovered that the earth was round, that the earth was a sphere. And there have been thousands of years that other people have known. It's just the, <laughs> the out of the European fools who often believed in some ridiculous things based off religious beliefs that thought that the earth was flat. Yay religion. At least, yay Abrahamic religion, right? So, Christopher Columbus gets discovered by some of the Native Americans. They try to be welcoming, and we shit all over that. Okay, fine. Well, not fine, but uh, that's what happened, right? Some people make it sound like we should feel bad about that. Or we should at least feel a little weird about that. Well, nobody that was responsible for any of that are alive now and haven't been alive for over at least well over a century. For the slavery, for the mistreatment of Native Americans. You know, they've been dead and gone for a very long time, the people that were responsible for that. This idea that we should feel bad about that is pretty ridiculous. And some of that is the whole white guilt thing. Feel bad because people who may or may not have been your ancestors did some things. Some awful things. Now, what we should feel bad about is how out of, what is it, 239 years since 1776, there have only been 21 years of peace. In the other 218 years, we have been at war in some way. That's not a good record. We have a ridiculous amount of military bases across the globe. We spend more on our military than, than, the, than the rest of the world. I'm not even sure. It might even be than the rest of the world combined. I don't know. But we spend a ridiculous amount on it. And then act like we're superior for it. Ooh, we have superior military. Yeah, that's, that's what we should be proud of, I guess. This isn't to say anything about bad about those who are in the military. It's just that <laughs> we've created a military presence and spent so much money on the military. It's no wonder why, over time, we haven't been able to take care of some of our basic things. 
why <laughs> if China decided to say, hey, uh, give us uh, give us the money, we'd be like, um, let's go to war. You know, that's just kind of how it would go down. So, and then more and more, I keep reading and seeing videos about how the United States pays people in the Middle East to, you know, tries to pay them more money to be on our side. But then as soon as some of these mercenaries get what they want, they switch sides. And we're like, oh, I don't know how that happened. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. Um, so we've got all this military, but we make all these stupid decisions. As well as some decisions that seem like, yeah, we're, we're, we're not in this for peace. And... The 239 years we've been around uh, proves that. And I'm not seeing an end to this anytime soon unless someone like Bernie gets in office, which I have a feeling the powers that be aren't going to let him get in office. We've got to keep that status quo, you know. The military-industrial complex, we've got to keep that going. Come on, come on, come on. Fear, fear, fear. You know. So, you know, we should feel bad about what we have been continuing to do over, over these years. Um... But we shouldn't feel bad about things that occurred a couple hundred years before any of us were even born. So, um, yeah. Now, we can draw this uh, parallel to the way that this country was founded to what's been happening in Israel versus Palestine... And yes, it seems like they're committing a similar kind of a genocide onto the people there. And we've got all these people watching, and people could offer alternatives for the Palestinians, but nobody's doing anything. Nobody's saying, hey, come on, come on over here, we'll take you in, don't worry about the land that they've taken from you, just... You know, yeah, it hurts, but come on, come on over here, we'll take you in. That's not going on. And unfortunately, some of that is because of the religion. And the, the fact that a lot of the people there want the laws of the land in Palestine to be based on Sharia law. So, anyway. <laughs> 